now that the new season's beginning, many, many golfers around the world are practicing and practicing to find the perfect swing. They're reading a lot, watching lots of YouTube. They're trying to find or copy that perfect swing. So I think it's very necessary and important for me to show you and for you to see that there are a lot of different variations. There's a lot of possibilities uh, when it comes to hitting a ball straight and far. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through them and uh, let's see if they work. Okay, I'll start with the standard variation. Ball forwards in my stance. I'm standing parallel to the target, tilted slightly right. Okay, I'm going to try and stay on plane. Okay, and that ball flew straight, but it's not the only way I can do it. My target stays the same, but I'm going to aim my body far to the right. Okay, and I'm going to swing flat. That ball drew towards the target. Okay, what about standing open? Really open. I'm scared of the right side of the fairway. So I'm somebody who likes to stand open. Everybody tells me I've got to stand parallel to targets. That was a very long power fade. Let's practice one with the balls like hardly above the ground. Everybody tells me I've got to tee the ball up high when I hit the driver. I'm playing the ball very much in the center of my stance. Let's uh, practice a few so-called errors. Uh, let's pick the club up and see if that works. Ooh, lost my balance a bit, but that started straight. I'm sure you've seen uh, Freddie Couples do it in a similar fashion. I'm going to swing really flat and uh, let's see if I can still hit the ball straight. Slightly right, but that's on the fairway. So, yes, I flew really, I swung really flat, but I kept the club on the same plane. It worked. Okay, this is a, a one you see a lot. Let's start the downswing in that way. Everybody says you've got to drop your hands immediately. So I'm going to start flat, move forwards, but then I'm going to drop my hands. That ball flew straight. So if I continued to move my hands in that direction, I would have been forced to cut the ball. But I got into a good position and then I dropped my hands. Not finished. Let's hit a ball without using the hips. So I'll try to stand as wide as I can and uh, in that way negate my hips. Let's see if that works. Let's stand with, my, with the feet close together and just use the hands. Let's see if that works. That's the first one that didn't work out. I hate that one with the toe. Let me try that again. There we go. Okay, that was at least a 220, 230 yard ball. And I only, well, 
my feeling was that I only used my hands and arms. So if you do have problems with your hips, you can definitely use your hands and arms to hit the ball straight and far. Okay, so those were quite a few variations. Almost all my balls flew straight and I definitely think they were far enough. But one thing that was consistent with all those swings was my downswing, was my impact position. And uh, that just has to be correct. But that's a topic for another day. So I hope I've given you food for thought and uh, really find a swing that suits you. If you find a pro that is good enough, he or she will show you how you can swing any way you wish, but you've got to get that downswing, that impact um, in the correct positions. Okay, thanks for watching Golf Beginner World.